and see if I'm able to get her a little bit more together. Hi everyone, welcome to a new Begijnhoeven video. My name is Rob and today we're going to do a how-to again, this time with Fabiola. Fabiola is almost uh, at the Grand Prix level. Um, and I want to talk about you guys today about how to make a horse think more forward. Because uh, for example, Fabiola is not the most hot horse I ride. Uh, but still, uh, I managed to make her think really forward uh, when I'm riding. And you have to uh, do it a little bit different than when you ride a really hot horse. So I think it would be interesting to show you guys uh, how I do this. So today I'm riding Fabiola. As I told you, uh, Fabiola, as you maybe can see, is a long horse. Uh, but she has quite some talent uh, for the Grand Prix. But it's not the easiest to, um, yeah, to, to collect her because of her uh, body type and to make her um, think forward, so in front of your leg. So I'm going to show you guys what I always do with her. Maybe you can see now she's just with her head up and I actually only looking at the fact that her walk is active. That's the only thing I want when I do the warm up with her. So her head is where her head is, I don't care. I just try to get weight on two reins without uh, making her head go down. And the only thing I want is when I give leg one time. Now she's not responding, she responded to my second leg. When I give leg one time, I want her to think more uh, forward or more active. So now I give leg and you see she's immediately responding and getting more active. So that's the only thing I want when I do the warm up. And I really don't want her to do a slow walk because that means she's behind uh, my leg and um, I will get problems later on. So I just do the walking, la la la. Don't feel like she's doing with her head up and uh, it's annoying. Of course, I don't, yeah, I don't like the feeling but it's just something I don't care about at this point. And I'm just riding, go left, go right. Of course you can make her head go uh, look to the left a little bit like this. And go left, turn. Oh, she's looking, hello. And she's walking very active now, so that's good. And I really don't want to push with my leg. So I just keep my leg still and just uh, do the warm up with her. You already can see now when I uh, do the walking, her head is going down by itself. So I'm not pulling, I'm not doing anything. But because she's thinking more forward, she's already uh, going more over the back and uh, getting more soft in the hands. What you can also do when you do the walking, you can also make the walk a little smaller. Oh, without making her rounder. Slow, 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 so just with my seat. And then I go forward again. She's not responding enough, so I give one extra leg and I repeat. Slower walking, oh, slower, 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 and I go forward. You see, she's more responding to my leg again. So also in the walk, you can do this kind of transitions. Okay, I think I did enough walking. She's active, her head is already a little bit more down. Um, for me, it feels active enough, so I'm going to start doing some trot work. And again, it's the same. 
her head goes up a bit, I don't care. And maybe you guys saw the video I did before about steering the shoulder with the young horse. It's exactly the same with the older horse. So we're gonna do a serpentine or something. I always like to do the serpentine. Make her go left, make her go right. And you see her head is going down already by itself. Good girl. Ooh, scary door. I can see that her left bending is le less good than the right bending. So I'm gonna make a circle on the left. Try her to make her look to the left a little more and steer the shoulders a little bit more outside. I'm going to do a little leg yield on the circle that she's looking that her, uh, the ribs go outside a little bit. So she's going away from my inside leg and I make her straight again. You already can see her attitude is now already kind of good. And she's getting more and more active. I'm going to do the serpentine again. Left bending. Very good. Of right bending, I mean. Left bending now. Good. So the trot work for me for the warm up is good enough. So let's do some canter work. You see her head goes a little bit more up, but again, I don't care. I just want her to be on two reins and I want her to think a bit more forward and canter. So I'm going to have a little bit more speed that her canter is active enough and I'm going to make her on two reins by steering the shoulder again. Uh, she's a little bit on the right shoulder, so I'm going to steer to the left, steer to the left. Now she's straight. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, this feels okay. So what I want to do now is go a little, make a little bit less speed, but keep this activity because her head is going down more and more, so that's going to be fine. I don't have to care about that part. So now I want to have more speed control. So go a little bit backwards. Don't care where the head is, but keep her active. Keep her active. You see she's loose on the front. I really don't care. So she's going back nicely. And now I'm going to make a little bit more forward. A bit more. She's not responding. So I'm going to do it one more time. Good girl. And I'm going to ride a little bit more back to collect her a little bit. So hold, no leg, and then leg to keep her more active while my hands are loose. Hold and loose. You see, I have nothing on the front and she's getting more collected. And now I want to go more forward. When I want to go forward, I put my hands a little bit forward that I'm not pulling. One more time, I'm going to collect her a little bit. Oh, so half hold and then leg. And I can't wait one pace because if I wait too long, she's going to start cantering a little bit too slow. And I really don't want that. I want her to have an active canter when I go back. So I give my hand like this, half hold, and then leg. Good. I will show you when i too late with my leg, what she's going to do. So I'm gonna do half hold with my late leg, half hold. You see, she's slow. I don't want that. So that's the reason uh, you have to do the half hold and then 
after you have to use the leg to make her more active again. <laughs> okay, for me this is good. I'm going to walk a bit and do the right canter. To uh, sum things up, when you start with the horse, don't mind where her head is. I mean, just uh, put your hands forward and just steer the shoulders. And the only thing you concern about is uh, how to make her responsive to your legs, so how to make her think forward. Um, second one, when you're in canter, for example, eh, I'll just show you guys, um, you have to do the variation. So when you do a half hold, don't use your legs while you do the half hold. And when she comes back and you can put your hand forward, she's waiting, you can give leg to make her more ac active again. That variation is very important and while she's doing this better and better, the time between half hold and uh, leg can be shorter and shorter and shorter. And that's the way you can collect your horse more and more. Especially in the beginning, it's very important you cut those uh, actions apart. For me, it's also, it's, it, it still is something very difficult. Just put your hands forward while you give leg and the other way around when you, when you want to make a half hold. Don't put your leg in the horse because then they get lazy or they get strong and that's a thing you don't want. So we just did the left canter, I did some walking and now I'm going to do the right canter. She's thinking forward a little bit, so I'm going to do if she's responsive to my leg. Yes, she is. Whee! And I go back half hold and leg. There you go. For me, this is very good in the warm-up because she's light, she's bending, she's thinking forward. When I'm trying to go a little slower, she's coming back. I don't want anything more when I do the warm-up. The next step... Uh, with uh, riding this horse, of course, is now to collect her a little bit. Eh, the warm-up is finished, was all good. So, um, actually the same principles are now, um, when I ride this horse a little bit more together. I really don't want to make her more round, but I want her head to be a little bit more up, like this. Uh, that she can be a little bit uh, more soft in the end. Um, that will happen when I do the transition. So I don't care where the head is again. I only want her to have an active walk. Uh, and this is quite, quite good actually. And I'm going to start do transitions, uh, walk, trot. When that is good, I'm going to do the transition in trot itself. See, I'm just riding. Of course, she can have more expression in the end. But for me to start, it's good. I'm gonna go to walk, walk, come, walk. I want her to be more forward when I do the transition. Walk, there you go. So you saw when I did the transition, she was behind my leg, so when she does that, I'm going to trot again to make her think more forward again. I'm just going to repeat it a few times and see if I'm able to get her a little bit more together. You see, there was a better transition. Think forward, there you go. Go to trot again. Go to walk, walk and think forward. Good girl. And trot, come, there you go. She's a little bit hanging to the right shoulder. So gonna fix that a little bit. Now she's more straight. She's very active. 
Walk. Very good. Okay, this for me is good enough. Now I'm going to try to do this in trot. So while I'm doing this, you see that the horse is getting more short in the back. And you want the horse to be short in the back and not in the neck. What a nice saying. So you see now the horse getting nice expression. And she's still very light on the eight. You see I can do my hands forward and everything stays a little bit of the same. So this is okay now. I'm going to try to do a little bit more uh, passage. See how she's doing that. And everything stays the same. So she has to be responsive to my first leg. When I do half hold, she has to come back. Half hold and loose. Half hold and loose. There you go. You see nothing in the hand. And this is already quite a good passage for the first time. Half hold. Now I did a half hold and she was, she was not coming back. So when you feel there's no respond, uh, responsive, um, you go back to walk and try again when you go to trot. So make a half hold. Oh, there she is. And make her more active. Half hold, active. Half hold. Active. You see, this is already quite a good passage. Good girl. And I go forward again. One more time, try to go to make a go to passage. Half hold, active. Half hold, active. There you go, girl. Good, 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 good. Okay, for me it's good. So also in walk and piaf it's the same principle this horse wants to have a very big walk so i want her walk to be small so half hold leg half hold leg so now you get a more active walk and then you can go to piaf can be a bit more active half hold leg half hold leg And small walk. Small walk. There you go, good girl. So I'm finished for today. Um, as you guys saw, um, she's very confirmed now in trot work, in canter work, and her transitions are getting much better and the variation uh, between my hand and my leg, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's getting very good. Now in Piaf, it's the, the final step. Uh, she has uh, uh, very much talent to do a good Piaf, but in, there, in that part you can still see she has some troubles to get uh, very uh, much more collection. Um, we're getting there, which is getting uh, very good now. I think in one or two months uh, it will be finished and then we're going to have a new Grand Prix horse. So guys, I hope you liked this uh, how-to video. If you do, leave a thumbs up or a comment and please don't forget to subscribe. See you, bye bye.